today I've gotten a lot of new cool stuff that I get to play with and the one I'm most excited about is this little bundle. It uh, might not look as much but this is material to make button top 18650 and 21 700. Here we have the good stuff, the dif dif different types of toppings, if you say. Yeah, about uh, three different versions. And a lot of these spacers, rings. And we already sell this in our web shop. And it says green and this is the one that actually made for this type of button tops or for other button top cells and I bought every material they had as well including these blue shiny plastic ones and the black shiny and some whites and red and uh, can't really tell so let's have a look at the super small ones. They really look like they are made for AA batteries. Fit pretty good. And even better on the 21700. What I wanted is to spot weld this one on the top, but I, I don't think that is possible. I think these are too thick. Then we have large head flag tops and they are laying right, wait what? How are these supposed to be able to collect anything? They're supposed to be like this or this. They are not even touching the positive pole. They're just touching the negative space. That, how how do they think this works? This is just a very expensive ugly hat. Maybe, maybe if you put one of these small caps upside down or right side up underneath and press them on top, maybe that would actually make a button top. Then you're supposed to have one of these spacers to even isolate. But if you have these small ones, you can fit them inside. The spacer is not good enough adhesive to stick on its own, so that's why you need additional heat shrink tubing. So these small ones were actually the ones I would go for. This larger one might work with 26650s. Yeah, they are definitely better on 26650s. But still, how are you supposed to use them on any other cell? They are not touching the top part. And they are very close to short tracking in the outer ring. So really, really, really silly. This type of top, this type of isolator. You can also add one underneath if you want, but there's no reason because this one is just touching the middle and it actually looks pretty good. So we will go ahead and try one of those and maybe, maybe we can test it during load and see what kind of amps it can handle. And I really like to use transparency so you can actually see what sells. Looks like it has good connectivity. We'll see if we can you do the same for 21700. I think these stickers will work just as well on 21700. Uh, 
okay you can adjust it slightly afterwards and on every button top you will most likely have a spring connecting to it so this one will have good connectivity let's see if it's magnetic yes but not that much uh, the casing is a lot stronger than the top so these were pretty useless unless you want to use them on 26650s there was also another method someone told me about and that was to actually have a little bit of solder on the top and you shouldn't solder on the cells but that is just for the casing and the bottom part but the solder on the top is actually harmless unless you have solder going underneath the tube and you add a blob on the top of the cell since it's very soft it will actually form a good surface to the connector that's actually not a bad idea at all solder is not super conductive but it is conductive with so much solder if you have good connectivity this might actually be the cheapest and easiest way rather going for these expensive ones but they do look, look pretty good they look decent decent enough to work let's see if i can test the amps 